What's up everybody? Welcome to the Blockchain Brief. Insert slogan here. Today we're going to look at one of our favorite projects that Game Theory Group is working very closely with, Constellation. Constellation looks at solving blockchain scalability issues. In a blockchain, every block has to be propagated through the entire network. And so most blockchains have a throughput requirement, like a capped block size, to keep the network from growing too fast. If a blockchain grows too fast in size, then it gets harder and harder for the average user to run a full node, which leads to less full nodes running and leads to centralization. This is an issue. Also, dApps are severely bottlenecked by this requirement. For example, Ethereum can only handle up to 15 transactions a second. There are several different approaches being taken to solve blockchain scaling issues. There's the layer two solutions, which build on top of currently existing blockchains. So there's Lightning Network on Bitcoin and Casper and Ethereum. There's also solutions that use a different kind of distributed ledger technology known as directed acyclic graphs. So this is where IOTA, Nano, Hashgraph, and Constellation fall under. So Constellation's mission is to make a truly decentralized, scalable distributed ledger system that is capable of running enterprise-grade distributed apps. The way that they're doing that is that they're taking a distributed app and breaking it down into microservices that can be fed into a DAG computational environment, which they are calling Extended Trust Chain. Constellation is an unbounded blockchain with microservices. Unbounded means that unlike a regular blockchain where adding a new node means that there's just a new node that needs a full copy of the blockchain, instead each new node adds their own bandwidth and resources to the network. This makes it horizontally scalable, which means that the more nodes that there are, the higher the throughput is. And this is enabled by using concurrent programming. Microservices are when you take a complex service, break it down into simpler services that can be fed into a DAG computational environment. Any device can be a full node and contribute bandwidth and resources, even mobile devices. This creates a truly decentralized distributed mesh net of connected devices. The blockchain architecture that Constellation uses is known as Extended Trust Chain. In Extended Trust Chain, there are stars, which are the basic nodes that can make transactions and keep track of all of their transactions, and then broadcast those transactions out through gossip. In gossip protocol, each node only keeps track of its neighbors, and when it sends a transaction, it broadcasts to all of its neighbors, which then sends it to all of their neighbors, and thus it goes. This is how you can have consensus in a network where not every node has to have a full copy of the blockchain. So star clusters are the delegates that do the consensus on the transactions, hash them together, and add them to the chain. And galaxies are the validator nodes that run the validation processes on those transactions and maintain the current state of the entire chain. So the underlying consensus architecture is known as a hilo chain because it is hylomorphic. Um, what a hylomorphism is, it's a kind of recursive function where in this specific scenario, a round of consensus takes the hash block of the previous round and adds it as a transaction to the transaction pool of the second round. And then the, the hash of the second round is added to the transaction pool of the third round as a transaction. So each new round has a the hash of the previous round in it, so it all gets linked back. This is what allows the gossip protocol to propagate and what makes consensus reachable. The way that they select their delegates is with proof of meme. Proof of meme is, think of it like proof of reputation, basically. So a meme is a unit of an imitable idea, and so the meme reputation is determined based off of your past performance as a delegate. The higher your reputation is, the more likely you'll be chosen to participate in the next consensus round. This makes it so that there's no network transaction fees for transactions on the Constellation network. Instead, new tokens are minted every block and given out to each node based off of their meme's reputation. So that's going to be the base layer. But on top of that, there's also the microservices application layer, which takes the role of smart contracts on Ethereum. Unlike Ethereum, which uses the Ethereum virtual machine, Constellation's microservices application layer is going to be built on the Java virtual machine, which enables you to take more complex logic in applications and break it down into the said 
microservices which are simpler and can be fed into that DAG computational environment that we talked about earlier. Each microservice acts as a star with its own meme and reputation and a collection of microservices are a full-blown application aka a constellation. And now we've come full circle. Just like a constellation only exists by the invisible linkage between the stars that make up that constellation, the Constellation Labs hypothesis is that a application, a distributed application, is its most scalable when it is broken down into simpler microservices that can be fed into DAGs and be computed with concurrent programming. I swear I'm not crying, it's just my contacts are killing me now, so I'm going to have to sign off soon. Three videos, three all-nighters. Now they're dev roadmap. They're not ICOing, they're airdropping. 2%, staked and locked for six months. Anyone can sign up, not US citizens, unfortunately. The ERC20 tokens are generated on May 31st. The testnet goes live in July. And the tokens are a utility token that give you access to the platform and act as rewards for developers and users. 250 tokens give you the community tier, which enables you to stake your tokens to earn more. And 1,000 tokens is what's needed for the developer tier, which gives you access to the developer community, the developer portal, and gives you more rewards for dev work. The mainnet launch is in January 2019, so we still have a long way to go. But with the testnet launch soon, with the airdrop soon, uh, I think there's going to be a lot of momentum happening, especially now that people are looking at alternative solutions to blockchain scaling that extend beyond just blockchain. I hope you enjoyed this breakdown because it came at a great cost to my sleep cycle. If you have any questions about Constellation, please leave it in the comments and we'll respond. We'd love to answer it with either a follow-up comment or maybe even a follow-up video if there's enough. Um, they have an active Telegram group which is in the link in the video. I suggest you join it and check out Constellation. Definitely a project to keep an eye out. I'm Eric at the Blockchain Brief. See you guys later.